Hello friends, this video on magnetic effects of current part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So in this way, gradually people could um, discover something called as a bar magnet. So what was a bar magnet? So now why are we studying this lesson? I mean why are we starting this lesson with bar magnet? Even though the lesson says magnetic effects of current. In order to understand, in our previous lesson, we talked about heating effects of current. That how an electric current passing through a wire can dissipate heat and how can that heat be utilized for so many practical purposes. So in this case, we will see that how an electric current passing through a wire can produce magnetic effects and how those magnetic effects are helpful to us. So in order to understand that, we should first have some idea about magnets. What are magnets? What are the terminologies related to a magnet? Only then we can understand the magnetic effects of electric current, right? So that is what we are trying to do now. So what was a bar magnet? It was nothing but a rectangular object that has a magnetic field. So what is magnetic field now? So whenever I talk about a magnet, there is a magnetic field associated with it. Right? This magnetic field is nothing but the area surrounding the magnet within which you can feel the magnetic effects of that object. That means, for example, if you bring some nails near this bar magnet, what will happen? The nails will get attracted towards the magnet, right? Now, let us suppose that you have kept the bar magnet in one room and you have kept the nails in some other room. Will the nails get attracted by the magnet? No, it will not be. Why? Because the bar magnet has its magnetic field. That means there is a certain region of space around that bar magnet within which the magnetic effects can be felt. That means only if the nail is situated within that magnetic field, only then it will experience that magnetic attraction. So if it is far beyond that magnetic field, then it will not feel any attraction. So that means a bar magnet was nothing but a rectangular object that has a magnetic field and it had two poles. One is a north pole and the other one is a south pole. So now we will see some of the properties related to a bar magnet. The first property which was observed, I mean when magnetism was initially discovered, as I mentioned you, those shepherds, they observed that some rocks attracted nails. So from there magnetism evolved and then bar magnet was discovered and then scientists studied so many things, they performed so many experiments with the bar magnet and they came up with these properties of bar magnet. So the first property was that a bar magnet always aligns itself in the north-south direction when suspended freely. That means you just leave it on its own. If you hang it with a thread, it will always align itself in the north-south direction. And this is what I mentioned in the first slide that this property was extremely useful in determining direction because whenever you leave it on its own, it will always point in the north-south direction. So you will get an idea about all the directions. The next property was that north or south pole cannot be isolated. Any magnet has got two poles. One is a north pole and the other one is a south pole. So what is that north pole and what is that south pole? Now as I mentioned in the previous slide that whenever the bar magnet is left to itself, it aligns itself in the north-south direction. So the that one end of the magnet which aligns itself towards the geographic north, that is known as the north pole. Similarly, the other end which aligns itself towards the geographic south, that is known as the south pole. Right? So that is how we define the north pole and south pole of a magnet. So the second property that was found was that we can never isolate the north pole and south pole of the magnet. I mean we cannot, I mean if, if, we, sub, if we think that okay I will cut the magnet from between so I will get north pole and south pole separately. That is never possible. What happens if you cut the magnet into two parts, what will happen? You will get different magnets again. That means if this magnet is cut into two parts, you will get two magnets. This will become north pole, this will become south pole. Again, this will become north pole and this will become south pole. So similarly, if you look at this scenario, here it is shown that the magnet is cut into five pieces. So if you cut it into five pieces, what happens? You get five different magnets, each with a north and a south pole. So you cannot isolate a north pole or a south pole. The third property being 
like poles repel and unlike poles attract each other that means if you bring unlike poles for example here you have taken two magnets where the south pole and the north poles are towards each other so what will happen since they are unlike poles that is south north will attract each other whereas if you bring two like poles near each other they will repel each other that means north north will repel each other south south will repel each other but north south will attract each other so that is what we say like poles repel and unlike poles attract fourth property not all materials are attracted by the magnet this is also a very important property i mean many of us may think that okay if a magnet has some property by which it can attract objects then it should attract everything so in that case if uh, the fourth property is that not all materials are attracted by the magnet many of us might think that okay if magnet is an object which has got some property to attract other objects within its magnetic field then in that case if there is a magnet which is present in the room it should be able to attract any object which is present inside the room let us suppose you have your table chairs wooden furniture in in fact human beings it should be able to at attract everything is it like that it is not like that magnet can attract only specific set of materials and those materials are often known as magnetic materials so we will talk about those kind of materials later i mean that is not our uh topic of discussion right now so right now we just want to get some rough idea about what are magnets so what all did we study about properties of magnet the first thing is a magnet whenever is left to itself it will always align itself in the north south direction one very important application of that is the magnetic compass needle we use it in many different places for navigation purposes that is to find directions secondly we can never isolate a north pole or a south pole if a magnet is cut into two pieces we get two different magnets again third property like poles repel and unlike poles attract each other fourth property not all materials are attracted by the magnet a magnet attracts only specific set of materials as you can see here there are so many objects present here but it attracts only some specific materials thank you Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.